Hey, what's up, YouTube? How y'all doing? Thank you for tuning in. I would just like to start this video off on a positive note, considering it's kind of negative. I would just like to wish everybody a happy holidays and New Year's. And I really hope everyone is staying focused on their goals and staying committed to themselves and their family. With that out the way, let's talk about this video. As the title says, top things motorcyclists most likely you, the person watching this video, need to stop doing in the year 2023 and hopefully forever. I've been noticing a lot of things since I've gotten in the cycling life, the bike life. I've been cringing long enough. It needs to stop and I'm gonna bring it to y'all's attention here if y'all haven't noticed yet. First on the list, number one is kill switching. That shit is so whack. That's half the reason why I don't ride with people. Lots of moto vloggers I see when they're doing group rides, then when their friends are just hopping off the bike doing Chinese red lights, kill switching each other, looking crazy. I just think it's childish. And it's just not safe practice. It's not helping any of us look good. And if that's your homie, I understand we all like to play jokes and play games like that, but you don't see a bunch of Harley dudes running around, hopping off their bike at red lights, touching each other's bikes and giggling, and then hopping back on their bike and running away. I don't know. I don't see the entertainment in that. People love it. It seems to get a lot of views on TikTok, so I guess people do it for the attention, but it's just not my forte. Stop it. Get some help. On to the next. Number two is annoying moto vloggers. I don't want to name any names, but I have a feeling y'all know who they are. These dudes in these videos are so annoying lately, and it's mostly the sport bike, the super bike riders, the crotch rockets, and that's what I ride, and that's the content I look for, but I cannot watch more than a minute of these videos if I'm lucky. They're so skittish. They're so, oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, oh. It's just like, I can't do it. It's like, for an example, he's been alone for a week. It is time! Yeah, 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 look. <laughs> Yo, just call me up. <laughs> here's, here's a good way to put it. Say you're minding your business, you're at the mall, doing your own thing, just trying to have a nice day, and unfortunately, you stumbled across a gang of middle school kids full of puberty, testosterone, or whatever, ready to fuck shit up. They think their jokes are the best, they think they're hilarious, and they're not afraid to let everyone hear it. Talking about teabagging each other, and, and jacking off and doing all types of dumb shit, and, they're, and you just gotta sit there and put up with it or get out of there. And that's what I do, I get out of there, I click off of that shit. And it's just something that is just, not appealing to me but it's weird because these dudes have the most followers out there half the time and it's even more unfortunate because these dudes ride really good and i want to watch it but i can't because it just sounds like I'm, I'm watching spongebob and patrick play with each other i don't know it's just really childish and it needs to get off with it and and other things motor vloggers i've noticed doing i'm not gonna name any names let's go for a ride they will sit there and talk about buying a new motorcycle and take everyone on a shopping spree talking about they're going to get a bike, but they never get one. And they've made about 10 of these videos talking about which bike should I get, da da da, new bike, and it's not nothing. They're still just, just clickbait. That needs to stop too. And I'm sure I could go on long and long and I'm probably forgetting some things, but like I said, I don't want to name any names. Y'all sure y'all know who they are. Number three on the list is Amazon and Predator helmets. Y'all all know damn well this needs to be on this list. Y'all dudes get on these bikes. Half the times they're Jixers or old bikes from, from 2005 and under. And, and these dudes got these long Predator dreads hanging off their helmets, slapping them on the face at the waste of their money from Amazon that they bought. And they think they look cool as shit. They're at the red light, not, not making eye contact with nobody because they already assume everybody's looking at them. Just while they're like, yeah. It's dread, and they pull off and the dread whips their ass in the back, getting whipped like Kunta Kinte or something. You know that shit is uncomfortable, it's not safe, and you look stupid. And I guess that's all I got to say about that. 
And next on the list, number five, I could have possibly added it in there in the last one, is plush toys. Believe it or not, grown men collect plush toys and then put them on their motorcycle to accompany them on their journey. Why do they do this? I don't know. They'll got Goku and Vegeta strapped on their shit, ready to ready to go like they they about to like it's gonna help them give them superpowers and go faster. It's not it's not cool. You were that kid. I mean, I love Dragon Ball Z too. I love I love anime. I watch it all the time. But I wasn't trying to turn Super Saiyan at lunchtime at the lunch table. It's embarrassing. You probably the girls don't probably think it's attractive. You probably got a girlfriend that got pink hair and and looks like little Uzi Vert. I just don't get it. Stop it. It's cringy and you're making the rest of us look bad as well. Another cringy thing coming in on the list at number 5, I believe, is these cringy TikTok videos. I'm kind of guilty of this myself in some instances or not. No, I don't have a TikTok, but these videos of dudes uploading are I, I, there's just so many examples of it and it's sad I can't think of one right now. But dudes will be on their bike with a female and a, and a bitch will come get on the back and like kiss them or something. And they'll have like like smoke bombs going off in the background. I just don't get it and and but people eat it up people eat it up and I guess they do it for views and attention and then y'all know what I'm talking about I can't put a finger on it but y'all know what I'm talking about these little Instagram edits these TikTok videos these dudes think they're so fucking cool but they're not your bike is nice man just be humble about it you don't gotta freaking add a whole a whole edit to it and my, i'm guilty of this you go look on my instagram i'll have a whole matching hoodie um that matches the exact same color of my bikes i got some air maxes that match my bike as well and i'm thinking i'm looking fly so i mean we all want to look cool and take some pictures when we spend all this money on our gear and our bikes and stuff but i draw a line somewhere it gets cringy at a point okay i know i've been ripping and rhyming about other people so much I guess that's what this video is about, but enough with the cringy stuff. Number five on the list is complaining about sport bikes. I'm not going to name any names, but people have got to stop complaining about sport bikes. If you don't like them and they're not for you, you don't like them. You don't got to sit here and complain about how uncomfortable they are and how you can't really use their full potential and they're pointless for the streets. Just just don't just don't do it. And you don't have to keep making videos about it. I know you don't like us. We haven't named we haven't made the best rap for ourselves and that's completely understandable for the last 10 things I just named. But if it's not for you, it's not for you. I'm thinking about doing a part two to this. If y'all would like to see a part two, let me know. And if y'all like my content, go ahead and subscribe for me and let me know y'all are liking it by clicking that like button. Have a great 2023, guys. I really mean that. You guys be safe.